Wap wap, wild Gilbert, water come in on me room. <laughs> Sweep out some with me broom. The little dog laughed to see such fun. And a dish, and a dish fell away with a spoon. Welcome, boys and girls, to the Phillipsburg Jubilee Library. It's time for a story. Today, we are going to cover current events. Our current event is this season. What season are we in, boys and girls? We are in the hurricane season. It starts at the beginning of June and it ends at the end of November. So boys and girls, the story that we're gonna read today is how Paddy the Goat saved Anguilla by Joanne Mason. It was a good year on Anguilla. There was lots of rain, so the grass grew tall and tender. That was perfect for the arrival of new kids. The little goat and his mother were lying under the leafy limb of a huge mango tree growing on Canafes Junction on the edge of the savannah. They were enjoying the morning breeze when she looked down and quietly said, Welcome, little one. I will call you Paddy. Baby goats have lots of energy, and Paddy was no exception, so as soon as he got his legs under him, he jumped up. He ran twice around his mother, and then right on her back. Goats often leap before they think. Looking around, he saw lots of other kids doing exactly the same thing, and before he knew it, they were all leaping and darting around the savannah. Hearing his mother's voice, he was at her side in a flash. Daddy! With a serious tone. Always listen for my voice and come when you are called. Now, let me hear you say, Mama! Paddy drew in his breath and blew out as hard as he could. <sighs> but nothing came out. There was no sound at all. What's wrong, Paddy? His mother ba in a concerned voice. Can't you ba? Ba is our good language. You must be able to ba. If you can't, how can you tell me where you are and what you want? How can I find out if you are in danger? Try as he might, Paddy could not make a sound. The whole herd was worried about Paddy. Goats rely on their language to tell others of danger, said the head goat. And for greeting and just general gossip, said others. They all talked about the problem, but nobody knew what to do. If Paddy can't back by the time he has his first birthday, he must leave the herd, decided the head goat. Hmm. Paddy's mother was shocked, but the head goat insisted. Then he'll be old enough to take care of himself, he said. This is the safest thing to do for the rest of the herd. It is true that goats need to bath. They don't spend time thinking. They tend to solve their problems by bang loud and running fast. That's why you will often see goats run in front of you on the road. Instead of running away from danger, they run right into it. Paddy led a lonely life. His mother was as kind as she could be, but quite often she would spend time gossiping with the other mothers. Paddy was left to amuse himself since none of the other kids were allowed to play with him. Some would laugh and others would take pity, but none of them wanted to be friends with a goat that could not bah. Their mothers would warn them, 
No, it just will not do. Why suppose you kids are climbing around pitch apple hole and he accidentally falls in? Well, he can't tell you where he is, so how will we find him? No, it's best to leave Paddy play by himself. Goats spend all of their time wandering through, wandering through the bush, sampling tender leaves and grasses. Morning is best because juice settles on the leaves and provides water and food in the same mouthful. Paddy, with no kid friends, explored every bush and rock in the savannah. Occasionally, he would see a branch quiver or hair leaves rustling. But when he turned to look, all was quiet. He asked himself, are goats the only creature li creatures living on the savannah? But since he could not buy, no one answered. The months passed quickly, and Paddy's first birthday came all too soon. Sadly, his mother took him away from the herd, and then she gave Paddy her final advice. Take care, Paddy, and look closely before you choose your part. Paddy looked a question. His mother explained, sometimes the rocks may be loose even His mother explained, sometimes the rocks may be loose even when they look solid. Since you cannot bar, no one will come to help you. So you must pay attention all the time. With that, she disappeared in the bush and Patty was left alone. As night fell, he looked about him. Being alone was no hardship for Paddy since he had grown up amusing himself. He had always daydreamed about the, a place where he would be the king of all he could see. So with a good spirit, a great knowledge of the bush, and his mother's advice, he set out in search of a home. Anguilla is a rocky island covered with stubby plants and trees. It is not easy for most animals to find food and shelter, but for goats, it is a paradise. There are plenty of cliffs, walls for climbing, and low bushes with tasty leaves for eating. Some of the trees have huge, broad leaves and make a great place for getting out of the hot sun or shelter from the rain. Paddy traveled through the bush avoiding the people's villages and on the other herd of the and other herds of goats. He walked so far he finally reached the end of the island. All the goats Paddy traveled through the bush, avoiding the people's villages and the other herds of goats. He walked so far he finally reached the end of the island. All the goats knew this place as Windward Point, and true to its name, he found it was very windy. But as Paddy climbed to the highest point, a fresh sea breeze filled him with courage, and he decided this was a great place. He looked around and he realized he could see the whole island and the sea beyond. He shouted to himself, I can see the whole world, and he felt like a king. Food was scarce, but since Paddy was alone, there was just enough for him. He spent all his time getting to know his new place, finding the best trees for an afternoon rest, and learning when the Pope head popes, cactus, were ready to bear their tiny pink fruit. As Paddy became more familiar with his home, he began to realize he was not alone. Many small animals, and creatures shared it with him. Why, he thought, have I never seen them before? A small raspy voice came into his mind. Oh, it's because you goats make so much noise with your low baying 
that we bush creatures run in fear from for our lives. Patty looked around in surprise. A large green thing with a long tail appeared to be dozing on a rock nearby. It looked very strange to Paddy and was certainly not a goat or a bush. I wonder who said that, he thought, half expecting to see another goat playing a joke on him. Goats are great ones for playing tricks. It is I, Louis the Lizard, the voice with Uncle Body said. Paddy stared in the lizard's direction, but the green thing never opened its mouth. How does it speak without buying? Paddy wondered. He was shocked when it replied. It's only you noisy goats and seagulls that feel the need to shout up everything you say. All of us rock creatures find we can speak in a more intelligent manner if we never open our mouths. Why don't you bah, Patty? Once again, Patty went over the events of his life with the herd. The green lizard seems to know everything he taught and responded with great kindness. Your life of solitude has made your mind very strong. You just have to think and listen and all of the bush creatures will hear you and understand. Try it now and you will hear. Patty listened and was astonished to hear lots of voices from creatures he could not even see. Many of them were coming and welcoming him to their community. He thought to himself, all these creatures are all so friendly. I know I have finally found my real home. They all responded in his mind. Paddy listened and was astonished to hear lots of voices from the creatures he could not even see. Many of them were welcoming, welcoming him to their community. He thought to himself, all these creatures are so friendly. I know I have finally found my real home. They all responded in his mind, welcome Paddy to the village of Windward Point. Then they appeared all around him. Soldier crabs who walk with their houses, tiny field mice with giant soft ears, big green brown lizards, tree lizards that could change color at will, land crabs, furry tarantulas, scorpions, jack spaniels, black iguanas, and too many insects to mention. There was so much noise that Patty had trouble figuring out which voice came from which being, and yet there was not a sound in the air. Even the trees and the bushes seemed to be speaking. Patty was happy for the first time in his life. He looked around thinking, I am so glad to be here. Everyone is talking. As the seasons flew by, Patty grew into a big, powerful goat, all able to climb the highest cliffs and walk along rocks walls just wide enough for his hooves to fit. He stumpled leaves and flowers from all the trees, but never took too many from anyone. When it rained, the rocks holes filled with water and all the creatures would share the best spots. One day, the sky became very dark in the middle of the day. 
Paddy resting under a lobby tree thought, why is the sky so dark? An old soldier crab wedged under a rock nearby explained. Hurricane season approaches, Patty. We all must be prepared for a storm. Patty had no idea what a hurricane was, and as the thought came into his mind, a tarantula passing by croaked. Big winds, flood of rain, cover island. It is also as if the sea and the sky became one. We all know where to go when the storm comes, Patty. You must find a place to hide to. Then the crabs join in. Yes, yes! Patty, the other girls are always so busy by that they never find a safe place in time. But we will tell you about a cave that is large enough for everyone. Paddy listened as his trusted friends explained about a secret cave in the Katuch Valley, somewhere in the middle of the island. I've heard goats speak of it, said Paddy, but none of them knew where it was. His friends also explained, sometimes strong clouds come with no storm, but everyone has to be prepared just in case. They asked him to climb his favorite rock at Windward Point every day and check for signs of a storm. He would go, we would go ourselves, said the small rock creatures, but the laughing gulls that fly there in the search of lunch and we don't want them to be, and we don't want to be their lunch. You're very big, Patty. They'll never bother you. By the time, by this time, Paddy Mine was so strong that even the sea breeze would speak to him. Day after day, he would climb to the point and stare in the east. The laughing gulls, always flying there, was flashing by mocking him. Ka, 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 ka! Paddy is looking for a storm. Ka, 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 ka! We can just fly away. Ka, 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 ka! And it comes. Ka, 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 ka! But Paddy, must hide in the rocks. Ka, 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 ka. Then they would do a few loops. Then they would do a few loops in the sky just to prove their point, laughing all the way. Ka, 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 ka. Paddy could understand laughing girls. Ka, 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 ka. Because it was very close to the goats. Ba, 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 ba. One day, on his usual hilltop patrol, the air became very still. A tiny soft breeze circled around his head and whispered, Look for it. The big wind is coming. Patty squinted into the sun. And way, way off where the sea meets the sky, he saw a small dark spot stirring the water. It was so far away he was not frightened and turned to leave the hill. Startled by a peck on his ear, he spun around in time to see a laughing girl flying west and this time he was not laughing. The storm is coming! Go, go, go. The storm is coming buddy! Run for your life! Run for your life! And he was gone! But Paddy did not run. What about all his rock friends? What would be the first? That would be the first to feel the storm's fury. He flew down the cliff wall, thinking best he could as he went. The storm is coming. The real storm is coming. Is everyone safe? The real storm is coming. The real storm is coming. They calmly replied, 
we have prepared for the storm Patty, and are going to hide right away. Run to the cave and save yourself. Patty flew like the wind as he bounced bounce over the rocks and gullies back towards the village and goats hers. I must try and save the others, he worried, but how? They can't hear me. By now the storm was getting very close. Bushes and trees was pitching in every direction. Their leaves picked off by the swirling wind. Shh! Big rain drops was fell, fell splashing and splat and splat, exploding around him. Kaboom! And, and around him as he ran and tiny voices kept calling. You have a strong mind. Use it to alert everyone. And remember, run to Katuchi village. Run! Paddy managed to outrun the storm as he approached the people village of Island Harbor. Goats and villagers were going about their daily business, unaware of the danger, just to the east. I must warn them. But how, he thought, how? Forcing himself to be calm, he heard a small voice say, use your mind to solve your problems. He thought and he thought as he ran towards the village. Gallop, 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 gallop. Paddy did not realize that he had become an impressive goat. With his huge size and his wild furry coat, he was quite a sight to see as he stopped on the beach, shaking his mane and pawing the ground while he glared at the sea. The village goats stared in amazement as, the, as this massive goat and they looked at the sea and the sky. In a moment, they saw the storm and jumped into action and Paddy took the lead and began to run and he continued running and he ran and ran fast. There was such a mad rush of goats that the people of the village stopped working to look at the sight. Wondering why the goats ran with such fear and the villagers looked east and spotted the first sign of the storm. Immediately they jumped into action, closing their houses and shutters and pulling their fishing boats from the already swelling water and the raindrops got, got smaller and harder. Paddy kept running as more and more goats joined the group, he kept thinking, hide from the storm, hide from the storm, hoping his rock friends would hear him too. And through the, the ragged bushes and over the slippery rocks, Paddy ran with strength he did not know he had. And the rain started to fall in, in big sheets and the wind was strong enough to lift a full grown goat. Finally, Paddy and the others reached the cave. It was dry and quiet, and there and there was plenty of room. Sacred and tired, sorry, scared and tired, the young kids flocked into the dry leaf bed while their nannies comforted them before lying down to sleep. Some of the billies milled around the cave, buying in a low, worried voice. But before long, they too relaxed and slept. Outside the wind screeched louder than a night heron on the pro, and drumming thunders boomed as the monster storm raged over the island, and Paddy could only hope that his rock friends were safe. And Paddy could only hope that his rock friends were safe. He had no way of knowing 
with all the noise, you couldn't hear your own thoughts, let alone someone else's. At last, the peaceful morning came and the sky was clear again. Everyone woke up anxious to go outside and see what the damage the storm had done. At the mouth of the cave stood Paddy, almost twice the size of the other goats, with confidence. He led everyone into the bright sunshine. The goats walked into a bleak world. Giant rainwater ponds filled the low valley. Century old trees were lying dead, uprooted from their homes. All the green leaves had been stripped from the trees that remained on the island was bare and dull. For the first time, the goats were balanced, as they thought. What are we to do? Our island, our beautiful island is ruined. A sad group of goats, led by Patty, made their way to the savannah. There they found a big surprise. The people of the village had come to thank the goats for alerting them of the coming storm. They knew the goats' food, leaves, and grass had been beaten down in the storm and would take weeks to grow again, so they brought food for them all. The people stood back to watch, expecting the goats to charge at the food, but the goats did a strange thing. Instead of rushing to eat in their usual manner, they surrounded one goat and they bowed their heads. There was not a sound to be heard. Even the bush creatures were quiet. They all knew it. It was Paddy the goat that could not bow that had saved their lives. Paddy looked around and felt their respect. Then the goats let out a huge bad cheer, and from among the rocks, he could hear his friends cheering him too. Ba 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 ba. And that is how Patty became the goat that saved Anguilla. Boys and girls, it's hurricane season. Please be prepared by Patty the goat that saved and grew. Water come in on me room, mm -mm. sweep out some with the broom. The little dog laughed to see such fun, and the dish ran away with the spoon. Una see me dish, una see me dish, anybody see me satellite dish, the dish, fire! Thank you boys and girls, come back next week for another It's Time for a Story. Thank you.